welcome, welcome to the best five minute wine podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the sea to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the best five minute wine podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, grape minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is. We continue our conversation with Barry Hoos of Florida's largest winery, Lake Ridge Winery and Vineyards. Let's touch on just a little bit about uh, what kind of experience when somebody comes to the winery and they plan on spending a good amount of time, what will they be doing? So in our typical guided tour, when I say that, they stay within the building. Our main building is fairly large. It has a second floor. They go up into the theater. It's a church pew style. They sit and watch the film. It's about 10 minutes. It goes through the history of wine and winemaking in Florida and how we got involved in it. Then there are walkways that go across our production area. And from the walkways, they can see our bottling line and our tanks and the processes and the pumps and everything and the workers down below. The guide would explain to them what's going on. We have cold stabilization going on or we've got bottling going on or whatever might be happening at the time. They then walk outside. We have an outdoor balcony on the back of the building that overlooks our crush deck and the vineyard. So they can see the vineyards from there. Uh, They can see the crush deck and the equipment, the presses, must pumps and all that kind of stuff. And depending on the time of year, like right now, we just finished pressing the last of our grapes yesterday. So from August and early September, they can see the grapes being crushed. The rest of the time, they will see the vineyards in full bloom or a dormant, you know, depending on the time of the year. And the guide will talk to them about that. They don't actually go out into the vineyard. And then from there, they come across another walkway mezzanine. Generally, Monday through Thursday, we're bottling, and they can see the bottling line in action. And then they, from there, they go into the, the main part of the retail shop where our tasting counter is. Customers can get up close to the vines out in our festival area. They can walk right up to the vineyard and see the vines and the grapes and things like that. That sounds like a great experience, getting to see all of those activities, those sensations. Now, to become Florida's largest winery, I'm sure you've probably had to overcome some obstacles, maybe, or is it just uh, on how you view things? No, there really hasn't been one. It's been, um, we've we've had some challenges like COVID. Uh, We've had some things come up along the way that, but you know, that's, that's business. That's, it doesn't matter whether you're in the wine industry or printing business or you're making uh, tractors or whatever, you know, things come up and that's the job of upper management to make sure that the employees are prepared, that the building is ready to go, that you have the proper equipment. Uh, I tell people my job is to make sure everybody else has what they need to do their job. Uh, and it's gone, I'm gonna knock on wood here, it's gone pretty smooth considering you know uh, all the challenges we have really good people that is the key every problem that you have in your business it's a people problem like if you have the right people you can solve any kind of problem the first thing you have to do is really make sure that you get the proper people in place and all the jobs as they say the right people on the seats in the bus kind of a thing Pre-COVID in 2019, I see where Florida had over 130 million visitors, tourists. So out of those people, when they visit the winery, are you seeing some kind of commonality between the novice and the experts in your visitorship? Yeah, there's a commonality and they they do run that full gamut, you know, from people who are very curious and have never seen it to people who have seen hundreds of them, you know, been all over the world and seen them. I think the, the commonality is the surprise that something like this exists in Florida. Nobody thinks of Florida as having any kind of wine industry at all, let alone something that's of this size. And then they, the, the flavor of the wine is so uniquely different from anything else that they're going to taste. And even people who generally are dry drinkers are surprised at it's a sweet wine but it's more of a fruit forward kind of a sweetness and not like a sugary sweetness to it we serve it chilled it's very uh refreshing it's it's something that uh goes well with the florida climate well somebody answer that phone it's time boys and girls for our listener voicemail hi 
This is Karen from Great Falls, Montana, and I'm just kind of wondering what wine is good for the body, good for my health. If you're in it for the health aspect, Pinot Noir is hands down the number one grape as it has the highest level of resveratrol, which is an antioxidant. And in clinical studies, it is shown to lower bad cholesterol and blood pressure. And it's been shown to have lower sugar content and fewer calories. Thank you for listening. I'm Forrest Kelly. This episode of the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast was produced by iHism. If you like the show, please tell your friends and pets and subscribe. Until next time, pour the wine and ponder your next adventure. This is Doug Vincent with the podcast Walk and Roll Live, Disability Stories. In 1956, I contracted polio. Thanks to my loving parents, I've lived a full, rich life over the past 67 years. Join me as I share my journey and uncover inspiring stories of resilience. This podcast is a platform for survivors of disability and those who champion services for the disabled community. Tune in on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, whatever your favorite podcast platform is. Let's walk and roll together on this incredible journey of strength and empowerment.